Hello, I'm Amanda Howard of Amanda Howard Real Estate, and today I want to speak with you about property management. With interest rates as low as they are today, and the pricing of homes the way they are right now in our economic time, now is a great time to purchase investment properties. And many investors are getting in on the action and buying up these investment properties. The other reason why smart investors are taking a benefit of these real estate owned properties for their portfolio is because the safety and security of real estate investments right now. History has shown that properties, real estate properties, have gained in their equity value year over year since 1945, except for, or with the exception of the last few years, with our economic times, these tough times do happen. However, in Huntsville, Alabama, we've been very fortunate enough to see that our home prices have not really gone down, they've just remained steady. And we are now seeing things change and strengthen again where we are expecting to see the home equity values going up again this year. So again, it shows the strength and security in investing in your real estate portfolio at this time. The other thing is with income, with the the real estate market the way it is and for rental income or rental properties, you can put a renter into your investment property and many times you are receiving more of an income than your actual mortgage payment year or month after month. So you can have a nice steady income growing with that real estate property much higher than if you were living in it yourself. And that is why we see many people who are starting to build up their real estate portfolio with multiple properties rather than just one. I myself have multiple real estate investment portfolio or properties and what I have found is the most important thing to secure yourself with your real estate investment and make sure you are running things well, which that is another side of real estate investment, is you must make sure you're maintaining your property in a, in a well manner or a strong manner, ensuring that nothing is happening with those tenants or to, more importantly, when we're looking at this as an investment, is your property, is having a good property manager in place who is overlooking what is happening with your property. They're doing strong background checks and knowing the people who are moving into your property, what their background is, and if it is going to be a good tenant and a good match for you in your home. So what I wanted to do today is put together some questions that I know that many of you are asking and thinking your concerns and reasons of why you may be hesitating or why you're wondering why should I hire a property manager. So I have with us Kim Savage. She is head of our property management division here at Amanda Howard Real Estate. And so thank you for joining us today, Kim. Thank you, Amanda. One, the first question that I received is, why use a property manager? Why not just save your money and manage the property yourself? That's a great question, Amanda. And the difference really comes down to training. Because property managers are specially trained real estate agents. So we know how to market your property, we know how to screen applicants, and we know how to drop important documents like lease agreements. So it's really going to protect your investment and it's going to really maximize the return on your investment. That's extremely important and it's things that you yourself, you may want to do, but it just gets away from you. It's a very time intensive process and it's nice that she has the resources available. Um, and I know that's something I hear back from a lot of people who are using the property management services that they love that, that service. Why would someone pay more in rent when they could just buy a home? Well, you know, right now a lot of people, even though the interest rates are really low, they're just not willing or able or ready to buy right now. They're just, maybe they're in a transitional period, maybe they're unsure about the economy, um, maybe they're just new to the area and they're not ready to buy. So renting is a great option for them. That is so true. We see that all the time when I was working on the residential side of resale. I'm seeing people that are coming in and they may come to our, our real estate firm asking about properties but their hesitation is they have a contract with the government or with another group and it may only be a two or three year contract. They're not positive that they're going to be staying here past that time and that's another time where we say, well, there is great investment properties out here. Maybe you'll want to start your investment portfolio here and some have. But then there's others who say, well, you know, I still have my property in Virginia or in Texas or California and we have that in property management there mm -hmm. so I'd much rather just talk to Kim and get into one of your investment properties or your homes that you're managing so that we know that we're taking care of it in a good clean home. Exactly. What type of renters can I expect to get? Being a landlord can be scary for some people. Uh, what can you say to ease some of those fears? 
Well, as far as the renters, there's not really a, a type of renter, but I'll tell you that most of them are either new to the area or they're in a new situation. Maybe they've just gotten married or divorced, or maybe they've just got a new job and they're waiting to see, you know, sort of how that pans out. Like you said earlier, if they may have a contract that they're working for a specific period of time. So there's not really a type, but you know, most of them are in a new situation of some sort. And then as far as, you know, taking the fear out of property management, it's not nearly as scary as it sounds um, because we do do a thorough background check, um, you know, all the screening that we do. Um, and so that really eliminates a lot of the possible problems. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, um, you know, just to ease your fears, you know, a little bit more, um, you know, I would say that 95% of the time we have no issues. We have great renters. A lot of them have homes in other areas, like you mentioned before. Mm -hmm. So they know how to take care of a home, and they're going to take care of the home as if it were their home. Okay, now that, that's a great point. And one of the most common things I hear, which is, is humorous, because, you know, we hear the negative when we do talk to other people who maybe have had a bad experience with having an investment property, and it's typically because they've not had a property manager is I don't want to come in and find holes in my walls and my fan is hanging down and everything is broken. That sounds like it's just, it can't happen with a property manager because you're checking in on the property. We, and do, the, we do check the in tenants. on them. And you always hear about the negative things, you yeah. know, more so than the positive things that happen. And, you know, obviously some bad things are going to happen sometimes. We do our best to always eliminate those. And, um, you know, like I said, most of the time it's a great experience. and. The tenants really te uh, treat the home as if it were their own. Yeah, Kim, I see and hear her talking to not only the tenants all the time, but the homeowners. So what I think is great is that if she's a little petite thing, she's a fireball, and she is on top of them. And that's what the homeowners love is they know they've got the security of having Kim who is going to be a pit bull on them and make sure that they're taking care small of Small package. Yeah. <laughs> great things come in small that's packages. That's right. <laughs> Well, another question that I had is, you mentioned that many renters are new to the area. Are many of them moving in from out of state? They are. We have calls every day from people who are moving out of state. It can be Texas, Pennsylvania, um, you know, in the D.C. area, just all sorts of areas that, you know, Huntsville is such a melting pot of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so we have people every day from different areas um, who are just, because of Huntsville's economy, it stayed really strong. So we have new people coming to the area all the time you know, for new jobs, and it's just a really great experience. That's great. And last but not least, if someone wants to know how much their home can rent for, how do they get that information? It's really simple. They can just give me a call here at the office, 256-799-9003, or they can email me at kim at amandahoward.com. I'll do um, a thorough market analysis of rentals in the area, and um, just come up with a great, you know, price, and we can talk about the rental options. That's great. No pressure. You can just get the information from Kim. It's K-I-M at AmandaHoward.com or you can give her a call, as she said, 799-9003. Well, thank you so much, Kim, and thank you for tuning in and sending in these great questions and topic ideas. This is what I consider the top five questions you absolutely must ask if you were looking to invest in property or hire a property manager. So thank you so much for being here today with us, Kim. Thank you. It was fun. Until next time, have a great week, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Keep on sending in those questions and topic ideas because I love sharing them with you. And I can always get other great people like Kim and anyone else that you are needing to hear from so that we can get you the knowledge that you are needing for today's real estate market. Till next time, have a great week.